I've talked quite a bit on this channel already about Android 12L, and there's a lot of good reasons for that. This is basically going to be similar to what Android did way back in the day with Honeycomb, which was meant to make Android tablets better on Android. And it kind of did, but it mostly didn't. Well, Android 12L is targeting tablet devices, but kind of the newfangled tablet devices. Tablet devices that can fit in your pocket, which are really for the first time making Android tablets really a viable thing, at least in my mind. Don't get me wrong, I have a Galaxy Tab S7. I really like it, but this is just different, right? This is a phone that can unfold into a tablet and it really deserved its own operating system and for a long time, or I guess it's on fork of the existing operating system. And for a long time, these companies making these devices like Samsung had to do their own legwork to make Android work better on their hardware. One of the biggest things that I love that Samsung did was in regard to their taskbar. And if you don't know what it is I am talking about, this is what I am talking about. So I've got my launcher here and on this side, I've got my lovely, beautiful taskbar. And from that, I can launch an application or I can swap to another application or I can drag an app and I can split screen said app anywhere that I want to put it. I can move these things around. I can swap them. I can change them in terms of their orientation. I can do all sorts of really cool, really great things. And that's a lot of stuff that Samsung had to do on their own. Now with Android 12L, there is something coming, namely a taskbar that I'm very excited about. Basically, Google is taking what Samsung did there and they're saying, yeah, 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 us too. We're going to make it part of vanilla stock Android. So today I'm going to show you the taskbar coming in Android 12 out. I'm going to show you this on a Pixel 5. If you have any device that can run the Android 12L beta or even later betas as this video does age, there is a really simple thing that you can do to be able to check out this taskbar yourself. So let's go ahead and jump back to the overhead camera and I will show you exactly what you must do. So the first thing you must do is of course be on an Android 12L or later beta. And then from there, you're going to swipe down and go into your settings. You're going to then scroll down to about phone. You're going to then look for build number. Click that a bunch of times until it says you are now a developer you might have to put in your pin or whatever at that point go back go to system and then go to developer options now we're going to scroll down until we see an option that says smallest width now remember what your device says pixel 5 is 392 maybe write this down somewhere because you may need it later but for now we're going to click it we're going to delete that we're going to type in 600 600 is the minimum value needed to do this and when you click on OK, things are going to kind of look a little funky, a little small, a little hard to read, but you're going to see down here at the bottom a taskbar. How about that? And if we rotate things around, you can kind of get a better idea of sort of how this would work. Let me lower the brightness here because this is probably blowing out the camera a little bit. That's probably easier to see. And you may even see a cool little hint thing pop up, right? Use the taskbar to switch apps. And this appears to be showing a foldable pixel style device of some sort. And it shows sort of some tips here about dragging an app up to split screen, just like we've just seen here on my Z Fold. And then touch and hold to hide the taskbar being an option, which you can do like that. So let's go ahead and split screen something, right? We've got our Chrome browser pulled up now. Let's take the Play Store and let's drag it up. And you can see that is a very similar layout to what we've seen on the Z Fold devices. Do we have any options here? No, we can resize like we do on Z Fold, but we can't do any of the cool flipping around or changing the orientation. And of course, this is not super useful on a screen as small as a Pixel 5. This is more something I want you to just imagine being used on a larger device. It also doesn't look like it's got all the different possible sizes. It's kind of snapping into sort of preset sizes, which honestly is fine. If you swipe up and hold, you see now this is in a group where you can come back to it. So like we could go into our settings that I had open and then we could go back into this side-by-side -side app group, which is a pretty cool thing to have as well. 
So all of that stuff looks pretty cool. Now keep in mind, there's more features that are going to be added to this later. We've got a report here from 9to5Google talking about the Android 13 developer preview number two. They've actually added an app drawer to that taskbar now, where at any point on your taskbar, you can click on that app drawer and see the apps you have running potentially to grab one and then drag it and split screen, which is a really good feature. And it's something that we already kind of have on the Z Fold. Because on the Z Fold, at any point, I can simply touch there and I have exactly what I'm talking about, a full app drawer there for me to be able to select an app from. And expect more features, expect more things coming along with this, but there's a little bit more that I kind of want to touch on here. So let's look at a screen grab from what I just showed you. This is that little tutorial, the little pop-up. And if you look here closely, you'll notice that, you know, this is talking about a foldable device, a device that is like this, which I also want to point out how wide that device is. Kind of looks like that Oppo Find N. Again, we talked about the fact that Google may be making an Oppo Find N kind of clone, something that is much wider than the Z Fold. Well, I think you have more evidence for that there. Very exciting, very cool. But that's not really what I wanted to talk about. What I want to show you here is the fact that it's a folding device. So this taskbar can be on the bottom and it can bridge the hinge. You can go over that hinge, over that crease, and it's not really a problem. You can see there a camera icon and then the Chrome icon. And there, like I said, they're going to be bridging that gap. So then that makes me wonder, how will something like this work? How would something like this work on something like Surface Duo? I mean, I guess they could simply put a little bit of a space there in the middle, right? And have the have a taskbar like that be here and here. And I guess that would probably work okay, but it would take a little bit of tweaking. At any rate, this is exciting stuff for me. We're moving into a what I believe to be a golden age of experimental phone designs once again. And the software is now really beginning to catch up with this wonderful, wild hardware. Guys, as always, thanks for watching the entire video. Thanks for hitting that like button and leaving a comment. All these things help the algorithm out a ton. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.